Well, Becky, we made it. We made it. There she is. She made it into the parking lot. Yep. So. No uh, sweat. No sweat. No problem. Look at this. Look at the bugs and tumbleweeds. Hey, man, that's cars are meant to be used, right, Becky? Yep. All right. Well, if you notice from my shirt a little bit, it might give you a little clue of what type of dealership that we are checking out. So if you can kind of see here, this will give you an idea. So we're going to go around the front here and I will show you. Well, I guess you know we're going to Colorado Springs. So we are at Porsche of Colorado Springs. This place is absolutely amazing. Me and my buddy uh, Brian with Epicenter Garage stopped here a couple weeks ago just to look around and I found a car. So let's go in and check it out. All right, we're in the dealership. I got my good friend Randy here. I feel like we're I feel like we're friends because there's been a lot of texting back and forth about this about this adventure. But check out this showroom, man. I absolutely love and I'll take you for a tour around the outside when we get done. But I mean, just look at this. A new car dealer with a passion for the vintage stuff as well. Unbelievable. And there's a singer right over there. I mean, this is so cool. That speedster, Becky, we could just take the speedster home. Yeah, that's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Well, Randy, show us, let's go ahead right. and show us this car. Right this way. Awesome. You excited, Becky? Yeah. You haven't seen it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this man over here is taking some pictures. All right, coming around the corner, and here we, here we go, it's like, Porsche 930 Turbo Euro car, white with red interior, original Grand Prix white, original red interior. It is unbelievable. Windy out here. I feel like I'm back in Kansas. Look at this interior. I just want to show you some of the other inventory they have here it is just i love i mean it's like i went back in time to the dealer you know this is so cool it's like i went back to 2005 or something i mean just look at all of these fantastic vintage cars oh man that little cab there is gorgeous look at the sc man they got a little something for everybody after my own heart here, got a little Targa, a 996 Turbo. They got some really rare ones up here, this Targa 4S, super rare. And then that Turbo S in front of it. I mean, how cool is this? And then this is just one of the showrooms here. I'll show you the other one uh, when I drop down the level here. All right, Becky, we are strapped into the 911. We'll grab some lunch and take this thing for a test drive. What do you think so far? It's awesome. Sweet. Awesome. Here we go. All right, Becky, we got some oil temperature here, so we just see if, thing, if this thing makes any boost. Yeah. All right, we'll see what happens. Oh, my God. What the? Okay. It's a little Monster. more power than our Carrera. A little more. Holy. Did you expect that no. kind of kid? understand this car okay. a little better. Okay, okay. <laughs> like, I can understand somebody inexperienced, mid-corner, hitting that boost, okay. having an old crap moment as it gets loose, right? And then your instinct is to do what? Lift. Mm -hmm. And then it just puts you around. Mm -hmm. If you get that tail kicked out, you better not get out of it. You better ride it better out. Ride it all the way Wow. Through. That was 
something else. And that was just a little short. I, I mean, scared the crap out of me. I short shifted it, you know what I mean? It was like, I mean, I wouldn't even, I think I shifted it maybe six if, you know, because right. I mean, it was climbing so fast. And what's interesting is that, you know, these earlier ones had the four speed because the five speed wouldn't handle the power. Right. But I mean, I think you want these long gears. Oh, I remember I was looking at the, uh, okay, here's an explanation a little bit. This car had different gear set put in it. Oh, See, yeah. these cars were kind of like really tall. Oh, yeah. But this thing had a different gear set put in it, so that maybe explains. I said I, I would like I like the, the four speed because five speed it, you'd be shifting so much and so much, often yeah. you wouldn't be able to to leg the car out. Cool. So uh, stay in it. Yeah, I forgot because there's a lot of uh, documentation and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, paperwork with this car. So this car is not stock. This car is modified and. Uh, it's, it's a original Grand Prix white. I mean, it's, it's all original, but um, the uh, the engine is a brand new um, unstamped Porsche case and crank and rods. They so they built this thing up, and uh, so the engine itself is not matching the numbers. But man, to me, that just car. gives you free license to, to have freaking so fun. Crazy. You know, <laughs> I mean, because if this car was seventeen thousand miles, and if it was a numbers matching perfect car, I mean, it's probably pushing two hundred, which. Right. That will never happen for us. You know what I mean? I mean, just it's just a collector grade level type of buyer car, and that's not us. This is a driver's car, and yeah. what a driver's car it is! Right. Holy cow! I'm not even gonna get on it first this time. Right. <laughs> first was like holy moly. So here's just rolling in a 2000 in second gear. Little boost lag, little boost lag, and there it comes. Oh <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna yeah. grab some lunch. Yeah. And, uh, and then we'll take a little longer drive and kind of get off the city streets and get up on the highway. Doodly. Oh, that was a fun, just initial little taste. Wow, got her parked in here. So we're gonna go grab some lunch real quick and come back and take it for a little extended road trip. Oh, Becky, this kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, we were like, we just, he just happened to be in the right spot, right? When we were just accelerating and then decelerating. And so looks like uh, a motorcycle cop. I'm sure we're not getting out of this one. You know, life in the fast lane, right, babe? Yep. <laughs> well, Becky, I got out of my share of tickets, I suppose. But looks like uh, not getting out of this one. Motorcycle cops are pretty diligent about collecting their revenue, aren't they? Yep. That's basically their job as revenue collectors. And I, I mean, obviously, you know, keeping speed in check. So it is what it is. Hey, another little memento. Come on. It's all good. <laughs> take it out of your paycheck <laughs> there you go and the insurance will take it out of your driving record yeah oh boy well we struck a deal it's kind of an interesting deal um they were nice enough to pull the lotus into service and the alternator i don't even know how they got here you guys i mean we're lucky you know we did have to swap out a battery but the little lotus is a trooper but the alternator is confirmed dead on arrival had the Bosch in here their service department here is amazing they not only do work on Porsches but they work on all classics and I just talked to one of their guys who like who's like very versed in Lotus. So actually, we're going to potentially have them replace the alternator because we have a new alternator in the car. And uh, and then I think I might fly back and drive it back. Maybe Brian will buy you know a, a car from them, and we'll we'll do we'll figure something out. So we're going to leave the Lotus. And uh, this is our uh, what do they call it in the in the uh, Apollo 13? The uh, the limb. This is our limb module to get us home, right? But. Uh, Randy, awesome. this gentleman right yeah. here did a fantastic job. This dealership, oh man, he's, he's amazing. He answered all my texts, really took care of us. I'm gonna, he's gonna take us a little bit around too uh, to kind of show us some of the other stuff. But I just wanna say thank you. Absolutely. It's an absolute Absolutely. pleasure. Absolutely. Any Likewise. of your Porsche stuff, these guys, you look around, uh, give them a holler here at uh, Porsche of Colorado. For sure. Awesome, well, let's go look around. Incredible. So we're walking down the landing here from where the Porsche was right there. And uh, it just goes on and on. I mean, just look at this selection, man. All and the pre -owned in Detroit, so. all the pre-owned. Yeah. Oh, this is a cool shot. Working. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, you guys really do have like something for everybody. You know, usually, honestly, I don't spend much time at new car dealers because I'm not a a new car. 
fire, right. you know? And that's why I was so excited, like, you know, when I came and saw that 930 a couple right. weeks ago, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love these guys. Even some of the other classes that we have. I know, yeah, yeah, those are, I mean, it's so cool that you got, like, those showcase. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just like, you know, nice guys are, look at this, man. This is so cool. Tell me about this thing. This is a 2012 Boxer Spider. So, oh, how cool is that? Don't you love that top, honey? Mm -hmm, that's wicked. It is. Beautiful silver with the tan interior. That is super cool. And I love, like, when I was driving up the hill earlier, coming back from the test drive, I mean, the the look at this, oh, right here, look at this, uh, with the lighting and everything. Oh, yeah, that is cool. so cool. In the background. All right, well, let's check out the other showroom. So what are we looking at now, Randy? We're heading into our, uh, what we call our new car showroom. Okay, right? we have, okay. Uh, some other wow. cars down here, too, some turbos. This is a Lotus we just recently took in. Oh, <laughs> how cool. Another Lotus. I know there's another Lotus, a white one. <laughs> oh, got a little Evora here, huh, GT? This is our uh, service department. Anybody comes in for service. Okay. Pull up here or come oh, that is fantastic. Thank you, sir. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah. Man, I have not seen this. This is a crazy car. So is that like it's a hatchback, five door? Yeah. How cool That's is right. that? So this is your new car. This is where we uh, deliver the new cars. Okay. Okay. We do have a late model 911 uh, Turbo S. Here. Wow. It's a 992 Turbo S. Man, that is incredible. And then I just love the architecture. Yeah. That is just fantastic. See the other uh, singer that we have, it's for sale. Yeah, let's here. check this thing out. We, uh, we have another one in yellow that's part of our owner's collection. It's oh, not, really? It's not in at the moment. Singer has just taken the 911 to just a stratosphere, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, the inter that interior is amazing. It's that's, ridiculous. That's a weave. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah. you, it is, Becky, look at that. And it's up on the dash, too. That oh, is the coolest God. thing I've I ever seen. I didn't even know there was such a thing. That's amazing. And on the dash too. Holy cow. And then here's your here's your hoopty section, right? This yeah, is like yeah, your yeah. your back row. Fixer upper. <laughs> Fix her up her. <laughs> wow. We sold uh, eight of those out of here, uh, You're today, kidding so. me. Back in twenty fifteen when it came out. Man. Well this is really impressive, Randy. I it's like I said a couple weeks ago was the first time I'd been in here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, man, you guys were just so awesome and you know, just you know, like I said, not usually buying cars from uh you know from new sure, from new sure, car dealers sure. but you guys had had something that i definitely well, a lot of things that a lot of people would like I'm you sure. do yes and then i even love your little uh, counters up here you got some fun you know so uh yeah, parts department back in here and then service as i mentioned when we came in yeah we have a little uh room here where for people ordering cars they can see the different colors and oh different man different that is cool and... your little boutique uh mm -hmm. room here that is fantastic. You got your interiors. Yeah, man, well, Porsche is. When they do uh, drop rides on the weekends, they mm -hmm. start here and we have coffee and donuts and stuff. Oh, there. man. I am going to come up for some of your drives. Yeah. I mean, we're not that far away, no, not you know, and actually Brian comes up here all the time and they have a cabin. So yeah, I'm going to be mooching off of uh, on Brian's uh, coattail here. From all over, so. That is so cool. Enjoy, so, so. Man, this is cool. Well, I cannot leave out of here without some sort of, well, I got a 930, uh, you know, I'm leaving out here with a 930 momentum, but I, yeah. I, I, I gotta get a ball cap or something because yeah, we'll I love, something for you. awesome. Well, Rand, Randy, this is fantastic. Great. Again, thanks okay. for everything. You are so welcome. Awesome. Becky, you want to just jump in this one? That is true. We have two tags. That's true. <laughs> There's still time. There's still time. There's still daylight. <laughs> well, Randy, thank you very much. Yeah. Absolutely. It's been awesome to deal with. Wow, Becky. For sure. Safe travels back. Thank you, thank you. very much. Here All we go. Right. Here we and go. The journey, the journey continues. Out here and to the right. Out and to the right. Let's do it. Take care, Randy. All right. You too. We'll see you.
notice it will take care of. This is speed turbo. Becky? Yes. We're driving an 82 930 turbo. How long have we lusted after this car? Many, many, many years. Since we could walk. At least me. You. <laughs> right? Yeah, no. Oh my gosh. But man, Randy and the crew down there at uh, Porsche Colorado Springs. Awesome. Look at this. Got a cool hat, cool shirt to go with it. Becky's got her hat. So we are in the 930 turbo. Left the Lotus. They're going to replace the alternator and either drive it back or ship it back we'll see what happens but uh hey we're still mobile this trip yeah, is it's not over. yeah it's not a failure we, we just been, yeah. switched rides yeah just different car yeah we're not uh we're not giving up yet no plane tickets yet right no. here we go kansas uh bound at or this bust. point kansas or bust don't say that no no <laughs> we'll touch up with you on the road well becky there's that view out the windshield, look at that iconic 911 view. Unbelievable. We are at a 930 heading east towards Kansas. Uh, it's been surreal. I mean, both of us, I mean, we've been married over 30 years. Been together. Stopping in a little town here on I-70 and calling it a night. Uh, things definitely went longer than today, so we're not gonna drive late in the night and be super tired. So we're in a 
little town called Burlington, Kansas. <laughs> so 930 is gonna have a nice little nap here. It's been a trooper. Everything's been driving just like a dream. I think I'm in a dream. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna call it a night. Well, Becky, this is our final uh, pit stop. I see you're taking some little shots of the car. Yes. Our final uh, fueling here. So what? Uh, what's your impressions of this car? I absolutely love it. Oh, I guess you haven't driven it yet, though. I haven't so driven it maybe yet, I think it's time for you to jump in, right? Yes. Time for you to it. jump in, but just from the passenger seat, though. No, I Oh, awesome, awesome. We're gonna fill this beast up and we're gonna actually check the uh, fuel mileage with this uh, with this top up now that we have a reference as far as, uh, um, uh, you know, a full tank and then mileage and then a full tank. So this car is- a light so far. I know, this has been quite the very trip, hasn't it? Well, it's very, very comfortable. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. And then just looking at this thing, that, that whale tail and the flares, Becky, it just, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, you're, uh, you're taking the next stint. Okay, babe. All right. All right. We're buckled into the 930. Becky has taken the pilot seat. You ready to drive this beast? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So mm -hmm. Becky's taking her turn at the wheel. Um, this has just been fantastic. It's our last fuel up. We're here in Salina, Kansas. Yep. So be home shortly. Wichita, here we come. Well, Becky, you're behind the wheel. Um, what do we think? I absolutely love it. Oh boy, oh boy. Absolutely, without a doubt. Oh man. It just feels amazing. How yeah, about that this turbo? Feeling home. Really? Yeah. It just. I'm just saying that. I just. I don't know. There's just something about it. The way it feels. It's amazing. Well, I mean, you you really love the Carrera. I mean. Yeah. You know, so I mean, this is just an evolution of that, essentially, right, right, yeah. with a with a big party kick. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! I mean, it's just so smooth. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not what I expected being in the driver's seat now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's I've always been, different. I've been the passenger the whole time, but yeah, I don't know. It's. <laughs> it's just so smooth. Oh wow! I'm glad you like it. I mean, you know, because I, I mean, it. that's like it. I love you it. You love it. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! You know, because I mean, we're in this car thing together, and I mean, you know, really, these cars, especially ones like you know that you know we might hold on to a little bit or something. Um, you know, we need to both really love the car to justify, you know, holding onto the car. And, and keeping it, you know, just like we had that saline Mustang, you know, and you didn't like that. And I mean, we do everything together, so it's kind of like, you know, it was modified and it was just too kind of crazy. And, uh, you know, so we just got rid of that car. But this car, that view out the windshield. Yeah, it's just, yeah. I mean, a lot of the cars today do not have the feeling of these cars. That is true. And here's our little loose cigarette lighter hack. If you ever guys have a loose cigarette lighter, just get you a straw. <laughs> we have to do the same Problem thing in the Carrera. Problem solved. But yeah, this thing's got a nice stereo in it. You know, even though it's modern stereo, you know, this is kind of a modified car. You know, it's not, I mean, it's it's an original Grand, Grand Prix white, red leather. I mean, we got the COA on it, the Certificate of Authenticity. And, uh, but, you know, but with the, uh, I mean, this car is a European car and, you know, it's been converted to, uh, you know, uh, mile per hour speedometer. So the true miles are unknown. Um, obviously it's a low mile car, especially when we give you an overview of the car, you'll be blown away at the condition of this car. The interior, everything about this car is just fantastic. But, you know, it's not a numbers matching. It has a, a brand new Porsche, uh, basically short block you know so it's an unstamped new oem porsche uh short block so you know it's, but that's what makes this car so awesome is you can get in this car and you can drive it and absolutely just enjoy the car maybe you can put miles on it just do what you want to 
and this car is a little bit modified. Uh, we've got all the receipts and paperwork on it and stuff, but I believe it's uh, it's got a different cam in it. Um, you know, I got all the, the mods, and I think it's uh, the turbo's been either updated or rebuilt and some different stuff. I mean, I'll have uh, my buddy Brian, who's a 930 expert. I'm excited for him to drive it uh, because he'll be able to really like you know have a reference of how this one compares, but. Um, it's got more power. I mean, I knew these are fast, but it's got way more power than I expected. I mean, it just, you know, because, I mean, it's from 1982. So, right, yeah. 80, 1982 fast and then 2022 fast is not the same yeah. thing. But this car is freaking 2022 fast. <laughs> I mean, you know, in, in, in a way, right? I mean, oh my gosh. How freaking awesome. Well, I'm glad that you like it. I love it. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm glad that you love it. Uh, I love it too. So, and I love you. Love you. <laughs> Here, this has just been a, a dream trip. Thanks for uh, riding along. Holy crap! Two Porsche icons. So we all made it home safe and sound last night. What an incredible trip. What a, an adventure. And, uh, you know, there's still a little bit of the trip to be completed. I need to get the Lotus back. But that will happen without fail. Um, so, yeah. So it's funny. Last night I got in the driveway. This is just how car crazy I am. I'm sitting in the driveway for probably like, you know, over a half an hour, like adjusting the stereo on the 930 because I couldn't really do it while I was driving. And so... Tuning the 9.3 stereo in and listening to 80s music and catching up on a few messages. I sat in the driveway for probably, I don't even want to say how long. It was over half an hour. <laughs> but anyway, so we got the car down here in the driveway. Let's check it out. So here we are walking down to the driveway. So check out the driveway here. We got a Firebird Trans Am. This is the wife's uh, Range Rover there. 84 Toyota Cressida. Uh, it's dusty because I've been driving it, but pretty much mint condition on, uh, it's a 200 car, but one old lady had it for like the majority of its life. There is our 86 Corvette. I just took that thing to Ohio and back right before I left for the Lotus. So it's still got Ohio bugs on it. There is the little mighty mouse, <laughs> little Suzuki K car getting it ready for the show. Hey babe, how's the Firebird? I bought that yesterday on the road driving back and uh, on the way into town we picked it up and uh, threw a tag on it and Becky drove it home. There's my little 944 cab. I'm in the process of peeling the plastic dip off the wheels there. But here it is. This thing brought us home. 82, 911 slash 930 turbo. Here's our tow vehicle we love and uh but anyway this is an awesome adventure i really appreciate you guys for coming along say goodbye becky Bye. look us up euroasian auto uh dot com euroasian on facebook euroasian bob i am of course like and subscribe and uh, hit that notifications button and uh, we just uh, really enjoy this and kind of had some fun starting to do these uh euro asian procuration boy that's a mouthful isn't it <laughs> but here we are and uh so i hope you enjoyed this adventure again thanks for uh thanks for riding along and look forward to the next one have a great day and happy motoring